Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll tell you film historical murderer mystery movie called The Pale Blue Eye. The film begins showing Augustus Landor, a great detective who is able to solve difficult murder cases. Landor is called by the military academy to investigate the death of cadet named Leroy Fry. The academy also said that Fry's his heart has taken while in the hospital. Fry's heart was carved from his chest. Landor went to the hospital and saw Fry's corpse, he asked the Marquis about how his heart was removed, and the doctor said this is done by professionals. Container of some sort. Then Landor met Hentoon who was on guard last night. Hentoon said that he found Fry already dead, hanging with his feet touching the ground. Why his feet were touching the ground, sir? Landor also found an untidy neck scar and a piece of paper in his hand indicating that Fry was fighting back. So Landor concludes that Fry was murdered. Someone murdered Mr. Fry. Landor start to investigate, he asked the officer at the hospital. The officer said that nothing happened until in the end he was replaced by an officer whose face he did not see. Did you see this officer's face? No, sir. However, he said that there was something odd about the officer because the epaulette on his left arm was missing. Landor looks for clues at the crime scene, he finds a footprint there. Then he was approached by an officer named Edgar Allan Poe and he said that the culprit was a poet. Is a poet. At night Landor goes to the bar. There he meets Edgar and asks why he said the killer was a poet. Edgar says that he is an artist so he knows a bit of a poet's way of thinking. Edgar also tells Landor to check on a cadet named Loughborough because he's Fry's former roommate and they had a fight. The next morning Loughborough said he didn't think it was a fight just a difference of opinion. He also said that Fry got along with bad people. Then Landor met Edgar in secret. Landor asks Edgar to help him in this case, he asks Edgar to start by looking for clues from the papers found in Fry's hands. At night, Edgar came to see Landor. He said his analysis related to the paper. He says the paper is either an invitation or a trap. Edgar managed to decipher the last two lines of words which contain, please don't be late, come uh, see me. Don't be late, come soon. Which allows Landor to decode the top two lines of the message. And the contents of the message became, I will be in the alcove near the landing, meet me there around 23.00, please don't be late, Wait, come, come see me. See me. Might be close. Because Fry met someone outside the barracks, Landor suspects that this message was made by a woman, this is reinforced by Edgar who on the morning of Fry's death saw a girl crying across the barracks. Landor asked Edgar to come meet him in an ice cellar. There Landor went into the basement and found candle marks with a certain formation. Edgar finally came and Landor suspected that Fry's when heart, Fry's was, heart brought was brought there. Landor takes Edgar to meet Professor Jean Pepe, a man of symbolism. The professor explains the symbol is related to a ritual. In a book described a ritual to achieve immortality, in which for the ritual required unclean animals that Christians cannot eat, the heart of an unbaptized child, and the heart of a hanged person. The hearts of hanged men. After that Edgar was given a mission to find out about people who have ties to the occult. Edgar immediately came up with a marquee name. In order to meet the marquee doctor, Edgar is exercising to get his heart rate up. When examined, the Dr. Marquis resolves that Edgar's heartbeat is not normal and he is given an excuse letter for being absent from class which must be given to Artemis Marquis. After giving the letter, Artemis asked Edgar to come tonight at 23.00 at the North Barracks number 18. That night Edgar came to the Artemis Barracks, he tried to make friends there and they talked a little about Fry. At 23.00 Edgar went to the place where Artemis said, but on the way he was found by an officer. Because the officer was afraid that events like Fry would repeat, Edgar was finally told to return back. At that time it was also seen that Landor woke up from his sleep and seemed to see his missing daughter. Out of longing, Landor cries on Matilda's clothes. During Fry's funeral, Fry's mother comes over to Landor and gives Fry's diary. Leroy's diary. After that Landor meets Dr. Marquis and gets acquainted with his wife. They talk about Fry's death and Landor says that he will find the killer. At night, Edgar was at the Marquis house, watching the piano playing of Artemis' sister named Lee. Before heading home Edgar met Lee and asked to meet this Saturday at the funeral. When they met, Lee fell and had convulsions but a moment later Lee was able to continue their moment. 
Landor tries to soak the paper from Fry's diary with some liquid. And Landor finds some missing words from Fry's diary. At night Edgar is attacked by Ballingers and asks Edgar to stay away from Lee. But Landor came and separated them. Now, no desire to offend. Tomorrow morning Landor is notified that Ballinger is missing. Captain. It's Mr. Ballinger. All the cadets went looking for him in the forest, and they found the Ballinger hanging and the heart missing. The Academy told Landor that they suspected Edgar was the culprit because Edgar had a fight with Fry and Ballinger. That this could have been the work of Mr. Poe. Landor, who didn't know about it, immediately went to meet Edgar. Landor questioned Edgar about the altercation and Edgar confirmed it. Then the Landor also asked did Edgar killed them, and Edgar said no then Edgar explains that if he kills everyone which he doesn't like, then the cadets in the academy will be left out of the dozen, as he is always the butt of the ridicule of now the other cadets. Know, I've been a figure of fun. Then the Landor was touched and believed it. Landor also said to be careful in acting. Landor was invited to dinner by the Marquis doctor and Edgar was also seen there. After eating, Dr. Marquis chatted alone with Landor in his study. They talked about the condition of Lee who had a disease since childhood. While Lee was playing the piano, Landor checked the Marquis doctor's house and he found an officer's uniform with the epaulette on the left sleeve missing. And Landor take it to the living room but the captain arrives and says that a cadet named Stoddard is missing. Another cadet is missing. Landor says that Stoddard probably ran because two of his best friends were killed because according to Fry's diary, they were good friends. Landor went to meet with Professor Pepe to see Henry's book. Landor saw Henry's photo exactly like the painting in Dr. Marquis' house. Landor went to meet the Dr. Marquis and interrogate the doctor. The Marquis doctor also admitted that they were the ones who performed the immortality ritual for Lee who suffered from epilepsy. Edgar, who had been infatuated with Lee, said that he was ready to do anything for her. And you said you'd do anything for me. Then Edgar was brought to be the sacrifice of the ritual that Lee would perform. Landor who realized Edgar and Artemis weren't there went straight to the ice cellar. Landor arrives which shocks Lee and drops a candle there and causing a fire. Lee who continue the spell was crushed by the rubble from the fire. Artemis who was helping her was also hit by the ruins which defeated them both. With all the available evidence this case was closed. I hereby release you from our contract. A cured Edgar comes to visit Landor's house. Edgar reveals that he realizes the message that Landor wrote and the paper that the two fried were written by the same person. Edgar says that Landor is the real killer. Edgar also found out that three cadets raped Landor's daughter and committed suicide by jumping off a cliff. I love you. Then Landor explains how he knows the three cadets. What's with you? You his daughter. Before Edgar left Landor said that he wished Matilda would meet Edgar so they would become a family, and Edgar leave Landor. After that, Landor went to the place where Matilda committed suicide, there he sincere about Matilda's death. Rest, my love. And the movie ends.